congratulations on the purchase of your Concourse Golf Smart Wheels. Before we get started, please ensure that you do an equipment check. Inside you'll find your Smart Wheels, axles that connect with your existing bush buggy, your charging power cable, of which there are two parts, the remote control mount and remote, along with the remote control charging cable. If you've also purchased the optional travel case and remote control pouch, you will be able to charge your smart wheels inside the case. When charging your smart wheels, it's important to ensure that all sockets and cables are securely connected before connecting to mains power and charging. The first step is to remove the smart wheels from the packaging and place each wheel face down. Then, remove the two charger power cables and connect to each other as shown. Now connect the corresponding charging sockets to each of the wheels, ensuring they're firmly connected. You may now connect the charging unit to a power point and begin charging. You'll notice an LED light just below the wheel's charging point that should appear red when the charging begins. Once your wheels are fully charged, the light will then turn green. Once your wheels are fully charged, you must first turn off the charger at the socket and then remove the power lead from the outlet before disconnecting the wheels. The smart wheels are also cleverly designed not to overcharge. So we recommend always that the wheels are fully charged and remain on charge either between rounds if you're playing regularly or certainly fully charged the night before and only disconnected from the charge when you're ready to play. To charge your remote, remove the remote control unit from its packaging and connect the USB charging cable supplied to the bottom of the remote as shown. Now you can connect the USB charging cable to a charging port. And whilst this could be done via a computer's port, it's recommended to use a USB charger that connects directly to mains power for the most effective and quickest charge. When charging of the remote begins, you'll notice the middle light on the remote illuminate to red, indicating that charging is required and occurring. To ensure your remote is charging, please ensure that the red light is illuminated. If it's not illuminated, simply unplug and reconnect the charging port to your remote control unit again and the red light should appear. Once the remote is fully charged, that light will no longer show. Like the smart wheels, the remote can't be overcharged. It's always recommended to charge fully the night before and only remove the remote from mains power and charging when ready to play.